clinical features of the disease which has been subdivided from the clinical perspective like you can talk about histopathological perspective we talk about clinical perspective for fronto temporal lobar degeneration into three variants bv stands for the behavioral variant then is semantic primary progressive aphasia that is non fluent primary progressive aphasia and thus try to explain to you how to remember this you see uh, the main problem with the behavioral variant would be that the frontal lobe is predominantly involved as i said frontal lobes are plays a important role in social graces it like you know suppose you are in public and by mistake if you say a cuss word or if you say a wrong kind of word in front of parents you suddenly feel ashamed so you, we we tend to social grace especially when we meet elders we try to be more respectful for guys i can say they are respectful in front of girls though they might be using all kind of wrong language with each other so in the behavioral variety of fronto temporal uh, dementia what we have is a marked change in the personality of an individual and he will he might incorporate in the question which part of the brain will get involved here so it's obviously the frontal lobe as well as the insula that gets involved because insula also plays a role in emotion regulation as i told you it plays a role in uh, i mean emotions like compassion empathy you feel if, if you abuse somebody you feel bad for that person i mean it's it's not that you know somebody by if in anger you might have said anything to anybody but later on you say kya yaar matlab i should not have said those words or like i you you tend to exhibit or anybody will try to exhibit remorse for the fact that why did i say bad things to somebody now in this particular case this is not going to happen so one he can incorporate in the question areas of the brain that are involved so for the behavioral variant most of the questions that you will get in the apps or most of the questions that you will get in the exam on this topic of frontal temporal lobar uh, degeneration variants would be on the behavioral variant so the atrophy will be in two areas that is the frontal insular cortex and the anterior cingulate atrophy would also be present and as i told you i mean the frontal lobe plays a role with respect to social graces so they would be completely lost in the patient so you have this chap who has apathy and exhibits disinhibition when i say disinhibition this could be so marked that he might actually misbehave with the a girl who might be younger than his daughter i mean from i'm saying misbehaving from the sexual perspective that this guy was arrested by the cops and his wife and his daughter are in shock that what really happened i mean dad was arrested by cops and it's not for the first time that this guy i mean maybe the cops have registered him as a habitual sexual offender to the level that i i am not saying that he has committed any uh, activity like rape etc but he is misbehaved with a woman in a public place which is what i described by the word this inhibition then there would be compulsivity by compulsivity i mean this guy might actually exhibit like he might be sitting on the laptop and uh, on facebook and he might be sending a random friend request to strangers and then he'll start start chatting with those random strangers also and some of them might be scammers also and when the scammers are talking to this guy he is thinking that they are my well wishers and my my wife and my daughter and my son they are my enemies that he'll get very very aggressive when family member is asking why are you chatting with a stranger a lot of time these people i mean you know internet banking is something which is always very risky with these people because they are very they are exhibiting compulsivity so there's a possibility that uh, because he is in a habit of chatting and he's chatting with a scammer the scammer will simply ask him tell me your account details tell me your password etc i lock into the bank and uh, the entire money of this person is gone apart from i mean the compulsivity may not be only with respect to chatting with random people on the internet but then gambling is a compulsive gambling could be present these people might be losing a large amount of money because of it and then you will also notice that these patients will exhibit hyper orality as well as overeating like he might to one he might be overeating anything and everything that is served to him that's one or it could be like to specific items like it could be sweets for example in india so this guy might be asking his family member for like he's asking his wife for making sweets again and again it could be like a kheer in the house or gajar ka halwa in the house so he 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 is exhibiting a very peculiar kind of a behavior for one particular food item is exhibiting a uh, gambling behavior disinhibition i mean to the level that he has been labeled as a as a regular sex offender by the cops and uh, lots of time might have been arrested as well as far as the semantic variety is concerned semantic word as i have told you basically means general knowledge uh, the semantic primary progressive aphasia implies that the part of the brain that is predominantly involved in this patient is the temporal lobe the word he will write as mostly temporopolar area of the brain is exhibiting atrophy and 
well what are the manifestations of it then i can say close to the temporal lobe or in the temporal lobe from anatomy you know it's the wernicke's area and wernicke's area is responsible for comprehension it is responsible for understanding so these people with semantic primary progressive aphasia because this would be close to the wernicke's area so these and there's a atrophy related to this area so there would be inability of a person to decode the meaning of a word I mean, let me say, if I say the word telephone or I mean, normally we use the word phone. I said telephone or any other routine word. The person is not able to understand the meaning of it. So, inability to decode a word or reference to any person or any special meaning is the usual presentation of these patients. In contrast, when you look at the word non-fluent primary progressive aphasia, then when I'm saying non-fluent, you know, the first thing that comes to your mind is Broca's area getting involved and Broca's area is very close to the frontal lobe. So in this particular case, if he says what is the area of the brain involved, then it's again the frontal lobe. But instead of answering frontoinsular, here you will answer frontal op op opercular atrophy. This would be an important point from the exam perspective because I just said frontoinsular. Uh, but now I'm saying the word fronto-opercular atrophy. Uh, yes, insula is also involved in these patients. Dorsal part of the insula is also involved. But your first answer for the non-fluent primary progressive is the thought process of yours is okay, area close to Broca's area is getting involved. Fronto-opercular atrophy is present. So as the name suggests, I mean, it is the motor, like the person will not be able to speak fluently motor speech impairment he'll be able to understand unlike the person in the middle who's not able to understand uh, this person will be able to understand but he'll not be able to express himself i mean for the semantic variety i can say like this person will not be able to understand uh, the the command given to him is not able to understand the words which are being told to him uh, in contrast the non-fluent variety will be able to understand the words but he'll not be able to speak here there are three varieties of frontotemporal lobar degeneration that I've described before you, out of which most of the time we are going to read about the behavioral variety of frontotemporal dementia. And he can also incorporate an MRI head finding in these patients. That would be because the gyre and the sulci are obviously getting involved in the frontotemporal area. So you will notice that they will look very sharp. So a classical term coming up here, uh, just like you read those uh, terms like uh, hummingbird appearance with respect to progressive supranuclear gaze palsy or you read about hot cross bun sign for multi-system atrophy and the similar kind of a very classical terminology question here knife blade atrophy would be seen with your answer is the behavioral variant of frontotemporal dementia.